Good day, my name is Hendrik Matzel and today I will be discussing some of the language problems that we are facing in our South African educational system. So the first language problem that I would like to discuss is the insufficient resources or the lack of resources available at schools in South Africa. And as Nick um, Spall and Elizabeth Pretorius has highlighted, the lack of resources doesn't just impact one aspect, um, it resonates with our history of inequality and affects multiple subjects um, such as math or science and is limiting opportunities for our children. And one of the best ways that we can address this or tackle this problem head on is by boosting the resources. And by what I mean by this is we must prioritize the provision of quality learning materials, um, including books and digital resources and learning tools. Uh, this is crucial, especially in schools that need more support. And the second thing that we can do is to involve the community as well. And by community involvement, I mean to encourage the community to support our schools. This is either through donations or volunteering or partnerships. And by doing this, the, the schools will have enough finances to support different types of resources. And this includes digital resources as well. Then the second language problem that South African schools and the South African educational system um, is facing is the transition from grade three to grade four. And this transition means that from grade one to three, students usually learn the language itself, meaning that they have to learn the grammar and the vocabulary or a set vocabulary. After they have learned the set vocabulary and grammar, they now move on to grade four where they have to implement this language in different types of subjects, um, such as math or science or art. And when they have to do this, a lot of students struggle because again, they go from their home language to the L-O-L-T, which is the language of learning and teaching. And in South, South Africa, the uh, language of learning and teaching is usually English and Afrikaans. And a lot of um, students do not have English and Afrikaans as their mother tongue or as their main language. So this is a huge problem. As uh, Sibanda Jabulani have pointed out, the shift is a big challenge for students. Students find it difficult to understand what they are learning because the language used, also called the LOLT, uh, language of learning and teaching becomes too hard for them and this language is usually now English or Afrikaans um, so how can we address this the main focus should be by training teachers um, teachers should be able to speak at least two languages and this way they won't struggle as much because the teacher will be able to switch between languages to help students understand the content better and then the second way is through supportive learning um, let's make sure students have extra help when they're making this transition, extra practice and extra resources. And this can all make a huge difference. So yeah, thank you for listening.